It's Wednesday, everybody, and the day is getting away from me. It's the beginning of the year, everything. So I have to tell you, there's a buzz in the office and a lot going on. In fact, we had our meet and greet with our Bible study. We have a Wednesday Bible study group that's a very faithful group of people. And they had their little social get-together to get the year kicked off. It starts in earnest next week. So in the midst of all of this, I invite us to go to the parish website and see what we have going on. Everything is kind of posted there. We've got Faith Formation for Our Children, RCIA, um, the completion of sacraments for any adults that need their sacraments. We have youth ministry. We have all sorts of things that we will be bringing to you as the fall unrolls. So thank God for all of that. That's a great thing. So today, just to mention what today is, because um, we don't get to celebrate this very often because it falls during the week. And unless you're a daily mass goer, you may not have ever thought about this, celebrated it, gone to mass, for it. So today is the exaltation of the Holy Cross of our Lord Jesus Christ. Think about that, exaltation of the cross. So at Holy Trinity, when you walk into the church, we have a very big cross on the altar with a resurrected Jesus on it. You and I have to remember that we can't just skip ahead to the resurrection. The Holy Cross has to be at the center of our lives as Christians, right? As Catholic Christians. And that cross is what we exalt, exalt today. So think about this as well. When we look at the cross, we don't just have that instrument of Christ's death, but we have Christ himself. Christ's body, called the corpus, is on the cross, on purpose, so that we look at the price of our salvation. That's what the cross of Christ shows us. Not only the instrument of his death, but who it was done to and why for you and me, for our ultimate salvation. And we hear it in the prayers at daily mass today. So, you know, whether the entrance antiphon or the readings at mass or any of it, even that opening prayer. So, you know how Father Bill has been talking about the opening prayer and preaching about it giving us more understanding and visibility to that opening prayer that collects our own individual prayers and begins the Mass. Today's collect starts like this. O oh God, who willed that your only begotten Son should undergo the cross to save the human race. That is what today's feast is. That's what every Mass is for. Because every Mass, we represent what Jesus did on the cross. That is what Mass is. And so when we go, we remember what Jesus did. We say thank you. We participate in that, in being at Mass, being a part of what's going on there. and. We celebrate in gratitude for what we've been given. So without this, we would have no life. We would have no victory over death, which is exactly what the cross won for us. St. Paul says it this way, I, pro I proclaim Christ and him crucified, but not only crucified, but risen. That is the good news of our faith. So on this feast of the exaltation of the Holy Cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, thanks be to God 
for this celebration. And you and I should say thank you. So as we begin the fall, take a look at what we have to offer. And today, say thank you to the Jesus that God willed and allowed to undergo, undergo the cross. Thanks be to God. Have a great Wednesday. See you on the weekend.